G'day guys, it's Captain Carter here and welcome back to Cold Waters. Uh, in the last episode we were chasing down a whole ton of uh, submarine tenders I believe it was and some tankers. So we're going to continue on with where we left off and we want... Ooh, crappy. Which one was it going to be? That one or that one? Let's go that one. We'll load that one up. While that's loading, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. Um, hitting subscribe helps me a lot. It means that you guys are actually watching the stuff, and I like to know that sort of thing. Um, righto, let's just quickly have a look at our brief was here. Uh, no kind of review orders. Um, do, 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 I'm sure we didn't. A sail from Mamansk. Oh crap. Oh, what happened here? Oh, we've lost West Germany. Ah, that's not good. Where do these guys think they're going? Alright, they were moving awfully quick. Alright, we have a new sound of contact bearing 002, designate Sierra 1. All hands man the battle stations. Now, we've got a whole ton of really cool stuff now. Break ship for ultra quiet. It now talks to us. How cool is that? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, um, now we want to load up. Yes, this is definitely what we had because I remember at the last one we had no, we had nothing really loaded here. So we're going to load two torpedoes. I'm going to leave those missiles in there for the time being. Now we want to find those contacts. Now it's apparently stormy up here. Now it does look pretty bloody stormy. Hello. Did you hear that? Oh, we have active sonar. I just heard two lots of it. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. I love how it now talks to you. Okay, so we've got these. Okay, now these are what activates. Okay, so what this is is a new little, new little HUD sort of thing. Now I can hit that. I can, that'll actually tell me what what buttons I need to press for what. Um, and that is, will show me whether I've got my periscope raised, my ESM mask raised, or my radar mask raised. And we've also Con, got... Torpedo room, tube four ready. This awesome... Make depth five, zero feet, <laughs> die by. <laughs> I love it. It'll now just do everything for you, and Bring I love that. Ultra quiet. Righto. Now while that's coming up to 50 feet, it should level off pretty bloody well. I can't hear these guys at the moment because it's fairly noisy outside. So if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to want to switch these torpedoes over to active sonar if I'm going to use the torpedoes at all. I don't think I will at this point, but yeah, yeah you never know. I was intending for this to be a very quick episode, and I'm kind of hoping that it will be. Alright, we've leveled off at 50 feet. Where's the periscope? Sure. Righto. Nothing really on the air, Sam, at the moment. Con, dive at 5, 0 feet, dive by. Okay. I've now got a confirmed bearing on one of them. Contact 332, which is over in that direction there. Right, that's that. That's in my vision. Okay, cool. I know that. Now he's scattering around because I can't get a solid pin on him. Con sonar, Master 1 is classified as escort. Okay, we've got a Cresta. 
that's not good. I don't like Cresters. Cresters, I'm pretty sure, are very... What was it, a Cresta 2? Yeah, it was a Cresta 2 as well. Holy crap. Okay, that's going to have a helicopter. That's not good. Righto. Down, go. Alright, now. Okay, he's all the way over there. And I've just lost him. But we had a pretty good estimate on where he was. I can snap a torpedo off in his direction, and actually, I'm pretty bloody well tempted to do that. Let's snap a torpedo in that general direction, and see if we can't find him. Uh, firing point procedures, tube 3, bearing 327, range to activation, 10,000 yards, fire tube 3. Aye, sir. Now, I'm probably going to lose the wire on that one, and I'm not really concerned about that. I'm more interested in finding his friends. Raise the ESM mast. Problem is, it is currently so rough that I really can't get a beat on these guys. Lower the ESM mast. Is there any helicopter? Right, where is that helicopter in relation to me? He's right on the shelf. So he's nowhere near me for the time being, and he can stay that way as long as I like. There's going to be more than just a crestor out here. There has to be more than a crestor. Well, we've got a couple of different options. We can run deep, or as deep as we can. He was over at the shelf, and I can't see the shelf. I reckon best bet at this point is going to be we're going to plot a course due north. Come left to. Zero, zero, zero. Helm, I. Okay, take us down. Falls of that depth. Let's go down to 500 feet. Make depth five, zero, zero feet. Dive by. And make turns for a head one. Con third. sonar. We are cavitating. Nope, oh, nope. Don't do that. Don't Con do that. sonar. No longer cavitating. Okay. Can't do that. Maneuvering, making turns for five knots. All right, now we're going to take ourselves down. Uh, that can go away for the time being. We're going to take ourselves down to 500 feet because I want to get a little bit closer to these guys because at the moment I've just got no bead on where they are. There is another one somewhere directly in front of me. Which is, you know, all well and good, but I kind of need to know a bit more about than just that. I need to know where this guy's at. That crester has to go down in a very, very big hurry. Alright, that torpedo should be activating any second now. Uh, that torpedo is now active. Con, helm, steady course. Righto. Make turns for head one third. Make turns for one, zero, knots. Maneuvering eye. Con, maneuvering, making turns for one, zero, knots. I reckon if we just plod along here at ten knots, we should eventually come across one of them. I'm tempted. If I... 
get that torpedo to go a little bit more left. I want to just track where that... Yeah, beautiful. Okay, I reckon if he follows that, he should find the Cresta with any bit of luck. Con, dive at five, zero, zero feet, dive by. Alright, we're at 500 feet. I'm a bit concerned that it's noisy because I can't hear anything. And that makes me very, very worried. Where's the torpedo? Okay, he is skimming along the surface, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Because we've shot him at 50 feet, so of course he's going to skim along the surface. And the interesting thing is, I need that torpedo to find something. I think that's going to be on a much better heading now. Yeah, I reckon that torpedo. If it finds something, it's going to it's going to destroy whatever the hell is out there. So we'll just keep an eye on that, and we'll just see what it wants to do. In the meantime, I'd really like to find something else. Going above the surface at the moment is going to surely be suicide, especially with this guy dropping that bloody sonar in the water. But he's nowhere near. Me. I don't know where he's at. snap fire another torpedo off in the general direction of wherever this active persona is coming from, which was somewhere directly in front of us. There it is. Uh, bearing 340, range to activation 8,500 yards. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Aye, sir. Hopefully no one else snaps off a weapon in a big hurry. I'd really like to find these guys. Righto. Helm, make turns for zero five zero knots. Oh, sorry, not zero five zero, make turns for zero five knots. Make turns for five knots, maneuvering eye. And bring us to periscope Make depth. Make depth four, five feet, dive by. <laughs> Con, maneuvering, making turns for five knots. I'm a bit concerned that this torpedo hasn't found anything yet, because he's out near the shelf. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Oh wow, it actually found something. Oh, excellent. Bingo. That's got to be the Cresta. It is the Cresta, because he's running like hell. He's just, he's just realised there's a torpedo hot in his ass now, and he's going to leg it. See, now this is why you just take speculative fire, you just aim a torpedo in the rough direction that you know something's going to be in, and you just start hoping and praying for the best. Because this other torpedo is still heading directly in the direction that another active sonar is pinging from. And where's the hell? He's on his way back to towards his ship. Torpedo is still on its track. Okay, there's the helicopter. This Cresta is definitely his ship. Go, baby, go! The Cresta is dead. Now that helicopter is not going to have fuel forever. We are coming up near the surface now. So that other torpedo is now going is now going active. 
Oh my god, we're breaching. Oh crap, 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 crap. Make depth one zero zero feet dive by. The wave just made us breach, and I really hope that did not send something our way. Oh bloody hell. Wow, he was a long way off. That torpedo pretty much ran out of juice. He's nearly completely out of juice, come to think of it. Okay. Time to take a, a punt. Pump's go. We are right on the edge of the detection threshold, and that makes me very, very nervous. Raise the air on dive here. at five zero feet, dive by. Damn this bloody ocean. Well, mind you, okay, let's think about it. When we saw these guys on the minimap, they were hiking. Which would indicate that they can't be... Can't be tenders. It'd be very strange for them to be tenders. For the simple fact is... I haven't come across a Rapucci yet. The alligator only does 16 knots. The Don only does 17. The Ugra does 17. The Komsomol only does 20. The Poltava only does 15 and a half. The Chilican only does 16. And the Dubna's 15 and a half and the Kazvik's 14. But they're all in the vicinity of very low speed. I don't think there's a group here. I'm reasonably sure there is no group here. I think we're completely lucky that we came across these guys. I reckon the ones that were further north on that map. That's interesting. I've lost sonar. Whatever was pinging me on active sonar up here is now not pinging me anymore. And this torpedo has been going for quite a while. So what's he tracking? Where's that helicopter? He's back out near the shelf. Which my torpedo is nowhere near because that's his ship there. My torpedo is somewhere over here. Past that. No, it's not. Can't be. Alright, there's the crest of it that we sunk. That's right, sorry, that map isn't correct, I just remember that. this guy. I don't think he's that close. He can't have been because this torpedo would have picked him up on him. He would have been all sorts of screwed. This guy is here. I really wish I had a better idea on where the hell these guys were but Got I don't know. Fire control. Weapon acquired. Yes. Winning? What did it find?
Oh, hello. I did just see a light on the front of that. Oh, no, you. Whatever you are, you're booking it. You're moving at a hell of a pace. You're another bloody... I know what you are. Uh, do, 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 do. You're another Cresta. You have to be. Cresta ones can take helicopters. But your flight deck starts early. Your flight deck buildings start earlier. You're a Cresta too. And that's why I set it to active because it's a very noisy ship. I mean, what is it at the moment a very noisy sea? But this torpedo has to catch him in the next 60 seconds, otherwise I'm in deep trouble. The torpedo's definitely quiet and it's locked on its homing. <clears throat> this guy's doing 34 knots, but he's not going to outrun Con, the torpedo. Fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Don't worry. We can fix that problem. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. <laughs> Smack him one right in the backside. Surprise butt sex, mate. You're going to the bottom of the ocean. Con sonar new contact bearing three, two, six. Designated Sierra two. Is that him? Okay, it's a car. Ooh, you're very, you're very nasty. I've got something for cars. Thirty thousand yards. Fire. One, I sir. And two, two, two. I sir. Right. Dive control. Take, make a depth of five Eight, zero feet. Five zero zero feet. Die by. We load torpedoes and hope like hell he hasn't seen these. He hasn't seen these missiles yet. I don't think he has. No, he definitely hasn't. I'm outside of his visual range at the moment, which is great news for me. Not so great news for the helicopter, who I think may have half an idea as to where they're going. Look at that car again. Lost the car. Come on, road. Two, one, ready. This guy's going to get the surprise of his life in a second. still see the car, huh? Oh, goodness me. Please find him. Beautiful. Now, are you the first one, or are you the second one? Lost contact. It doesn't Zero, matter which two, one you are. Last bearing. Three, two, three. Contact breaking up. Alright, we're going deep. Make turns for one. Zero. Not That's why I said on. insurance policy. Con maneuvering, making turns for <laughs> one, zero. Right to a, just in case, you know, you never know. This helicopter is way off in the boonies. He's got no idea where I am. No vessels nearby. Just, um, Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. We'll just quickly reload these torpedo tubes, just so that we don't have to do it when we get into the next contact. Um, I call that a raging success. Considering the fact that I had no, I had what one, one intermittent sonar contact, and then I lost that. All I was tracking that off was the fact that those two guys were pinging away on active sonar like they were, like it was going out of style. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Awesome. Now, oh, Christ, I've got the hell. Dive at five, zero, zero, eight, dive by. Make turns for two, zero, not maneuvering eye. You are not about to stop, are you? Con, maneuvering, making turns for two, zero, not. Please do not stop. Do not descend, do not pass go, do not put two on the rocks. Woohoo! 
away. I have nothing to do with you, sunshine. Break ship for ultra quiet. I got a hole, guys. I got a freaking hole. Not cool. What's not cool is what's about to come poking through the ocean surface in about two seconds. That. There's the disturbance on the surface. Okay. Okay. Alright, well, we need to get away from this guy. Um, let's go. Set course 055. Come right to 055. Helm I. I really didn't want to have to be playing silly buggers with the freaking helicopter. I should have just I should have just left the area as soon as I could have. Shouldn't have waited for that torpedo. That's all I waited for was just a bloody torpedo. Now I can't get away from this sucker because it's it's saying there is this uh, there's a helicopter there. You're not helping. Still there for the moment. Just need to watch that spot just there. If it fades away, that means he's going, which is now. Righto. Head standard. Make turns for two, six knots. Maneuvering eye. Oh, we're still in the area. Come on. Oh, for Christ's sake. Con, helm, steady course. I'm going to make a ton of noise and I'm going to hope that I can outrun this guy. Uh, helm, new course, set heading 040. Come left to 040. Helm, I. Con, maneuvering, making turns for 26 knots. He's a long way off, I don't think he's going to be able to hear me all the way out here. And if he did, he'd be taking a real rough stab. Come on, let me go. Oh, damn it. I mean, this is all we can do, is just leave the area as fast as humanly possible, without attracting attention. There's no more attention here to attract, except for that stupid helicopter. Which at some point has to run out of juice. He can't fly there forever. I've just destroyed the two possible ships he could have landed on. 
and he had no idea that I was even freaking here because I was actually outside the visibility range when I fired those missiles. Go away, don't come this way. No. Oh, go away. You know exactly where I am, don't you? As soon as I see him descending, I'm going to smash the thing into silent. Break silent. ship for ultra quiet. I'm just going to drift now. So I'm not prepared to run that sort of a risk. Unless I get down towards the ocean floor. 712 feet. Dive control, take us down to 650. Make depth six five zero feet. Dive by. I just can't evade this guy. He's now almost directly astern of me, which means he knew exactly where I was. Oh, dang it! Because there's no layer for me to hit to hide behind here either. There's no possible way I can hide. And I don't like that. I want the ability to hide. Dang it. I got one moss and four this is actually this is all I got left is four torpedoes. Bugger it. Coming this way. No, he's going away, he's going away, he's going away. Full head. Make turns for two, six knots, maneuvering eye. Oh, come on, get me out of his range. Come on, go. Con, dive at six, five, zero feet, dive by. Yes! Excellent! It was the car and the crusher that we were after. Thank goodness for that. Wasn't our intended target, but it will just have to do. Um, we're going to have to leave those submarine tenders alone for the time being because we cannot continue on what we have. We just can't. There's no way. Which is really annoying because I would love nothing more than to go and smash the living dials out of those tenders but yes I know I'm aware of that oh look reds reload that's fine we'll sink them anyway oh good now you actually want me to, <laughs> to go back and replenish stores I couldn't have taken those guys out with torpedoes alone I would have been detected because I really need to destroy the warships along with the tenders and four torpedoes and a single moss is not going to cut that. Cool. Nine days at war, we accomplished three missions, no insertions, no land strikes, and we sunk 13 vessels. One capital ship, that must have been the Kara. No, hang on a minute, that was the... That was the cruiser that we sunk. Excellent. Oh, you've just noticed more tankers leaving from Archangelsk. That's fine, but I need to rearm this thing because I have nothing. Right, I like my UGM-84s. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I want 10 of those and I want a full... Actually, give me another moss. Should always have two mosses. Okay, that gives me 14 torpedoes and 10 missiles. No. Yep, give me 8 of those. That gives me 16 torpedoes. 
or do I want to loose the torpedo, if, or do I only want 14 torpedoes? 14's plenty. I'd hope. No. No, let's go with 16 because I don't necessarily need to use the UGM-84s on the tenders. I can quite happily use... I can quite happily use torpedoes. Yep. Yep, that's what we'll do. Okay, we'll do that. And yes, cast us off and anchors away, chaps. Um, Righto, so... What we'll do, we'll go back to the brief screen so it pauses everything. Okay, um, I think we'll leave it there, guys. I think that was quite a successful little game. It took us a little while. That's probably one of the more difficult ones we've had, except for, I think it was the last episode just beforehand, where we, like, couldn't find anything. And it was sure as eggs something was there, and, you know, it was. Um, but no, I think that was a pretty good game. So we'll see, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how we go in the next one. So I hope you liked the video guys, don't forget to hit the like button and definitely don't forget to subscribe and if you haven't already done that, please do. And we've got a live stream coming up, actually no, we would have had the live stream already, what am I talking about? Um, yeah, because this video will come out on Monday and we'll have a couple more videos during the week of Cold Waters. Let me know in the comments um, what you think of this. If you liked the episode, please do tell me that you liked it. If you didn't like it and you think we could have done something better, let me know that as well. I'm Captain Carter. I hope you guys have an excellent week. See you next time.